Hi there, everybody. It didn't even dawn on me to shoot any video of this beforehand, but I thought I'd uh, shoot a little video and just show the part I just made, just uh, curiosity of it. So this is part of a uh, drag link assembly for the steering shaft and a forklift. And I don't quite understand how, but this part, there's two of them that go in there, and somewhere along the line working on it, uh, one of these got lost. So they asked if I could make one. I have not seen the other parts. I've seen the picture of the uh, actual link. So this sits in a pocket in the link, and then they tell me that there's another actual ball-shaped uh, plate that goes on this that is actually applying the, uh, I don't know if you want to call it, the load to the ball that's on the end of this uh, steering stud. So anyways, they're missing one of these. They need another one made. So I just punched this out. Uh, it took me an hour to make. Um, and... I had, at first, I was afraid this thing might be hardened, but then once I found out the application, I, I went ahead and told him to drop it off. We just made it out of a piece of uh, 4140 I had laying around here. And, and honestly, it's not a wearing part, so that just was what I had on hand. But mostly what I was going to show you, so to make this part, I started off with my uh, steel blank in here, and I turned this up from this direction. So we got this pocket that had to get made with a 45-degree chamfer on it, blind hole, I went in here and just cut, uh, oh, what was it, about 20 thousandths undersized with a drill bit to just shy of the bottom of this. Went in with a boring bar, carved that out, cut the chamfer, cut the OD, and then uh, this is really weird. This angle, and I don't know why, this is a 58 degree angle. So I came in here, set my compound on 58 degrees, first set it to 45, cut the inside chamfer, and then carved my way in with this attached to it and cut past where I needed to be and then just parted this off. The part that I wanted to show you is a cheating trick. So to, this thing obviously needs to be the same height as this is. And so the thing I wanted to show you, I wish I'd have shown it in the machining, but it didn't dawn on me, is I get up here and we'll set up, so this thing, mind you, is up here. I come up and literally set my uh, parting tool to where it touches the edge of the part like this. And then, with that sitting there, I come up and just take the part that I'm trying to copy the length of, stick it in between my micrometer stop my carriage and then crank the micrometer stop out until it touches it and then you part it off then you uh, pull the part out go ahead and crank on over until you touch your micrometer stop and voila and doing that these parts are within half a thou of the same height right now so just thought i'd mention that maybe you already knew that but if you're trying to copy a part and you're using micrometer stop just Grab the part and throw it in there between the micrometer stop and your carriage, and it'll save you some time screwing around, counting revolutions on the dial. So that was it. Catch y'all later.